guys if you got one of these tablets asus the model of this asus tablet is k012 as you can see is just very small it will work for any asus model and actually probably for any android device so if you run into the problem when your device starts to not respond or it stops to respond and you get in these messages all the time that the system isn't responding. Do you want to wait or do you want to close it? Yeah, it's just getting too annoying. And unfortunately, there is nothing much you can do. Of course, you can go ahead and install like the cleaner program. Like I've been using this uh, Clean Master program to clean it up. But unfortunately, it doesn't really help that much. It does work. It cleans some cache and cleans some files on your device. But as you can see, this device is so slow, like you can you can go make a coffee and and it still won't load. So for example, like it doesn't even work right now. As you can see, it's, you need to try again, even though the Wi-Fi is, is working, so it's all connected, but for some reason it doesn't work. And same thing with all the other apps like YouTube and everything else is just terribly slow and and there is no way to fix it but to just factory restore it so in this short video i will show you how to do it really quick it doesn't take long but um, before we start make sure that you have some battery left on your device like as you can see i got more than half this is going to be enough otherwise you might run into issues if it starts to factory reset it and your battery dies then it's no good so make sure you have at least like 50 percent of the battery or better just go ahead and charge it completely. This way you're 100% gonna be sure that you got enough battery life. All right, let's get started. And before we start, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you find this video helpful, support it with the like. Thank you very much. Let's get started. All right, so what we wanna do, we wanna go to the settings. So click on it and you can see how unresponsive it is. It's not very fast. And then you just gotta go to the backup and reset. And right where it says factory reset, as you can see, factory reset, just click on it. And it's gonna show you that it's gonna erase all the data from this device, internal storage, including your Google accounts, system and app data and settings, downloaded apps. And it usually takes about 10 minutes or more. So what we wanna do, we're just gonna press this reset tablet if you have a little bit different tablet there might be a different button but it's all going to be pretty much similar so go ahead and press on this reset tablet but before you do that make sure that you have copied all the necessary files from this tablet because after you press this button it will remove all your contacts that are stored on this tablet it will remove all your text messages all the data from the account. The account itself on Google will still be available, but it won't be available on this device. So if you have saved anything on the internal storage, like photos or anything like that, make sure to copy it. Otherwise you will lose it and it will be permanently deleted. So I'm sure I don't have much on this device. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press the reset button. then before you can reset it it says erase all your personal information downloaded apps you can't reverse this action reset takes 10 minutes or more then to make sure you confirm in this action you want to enter these four digits this way they're making sure you cannot do this just accidentally so okay and this password will be different every time so it's not going to be the same password and it's not password for anything is just so so you don't do it accidentally you know just pressing the button suddenly delete everything all right let's go ahead and erase everything so as you can see the device is powering off it's shutting down right now and it should after the shutdown it should start reinstalling the firmware that it has saved inside there we go, it just started. So don't touch it, don't turn it off. And that's why I mentioned you better have enough battery because during this period of time, you will not be able to use this device. And if it dies, it may interrupt the installation process and then you may not even be able to recover it anymore because then it just might be broken. So as you can see, 
device is being reinstalled so it's erasing the current operating system and after that it will reinstall the factory default firmware that came with this tablet or if you have upgraded to a new version of android it will install the upgraded version of android to which you have upgraded but it will be fresh it will be like brand new there will be no additional apps there will be no additional files so you will be able to use this tablet just like brand new without any lagging without any trash i'm just going to go ahead and fast forward it because i don't want you to be waiting for 10 minutes so let's just go ahead and fast forward it right now all right so finally it took about 15 minutes to get it all reinstalled so now we add the screen where we can set up the device this is going to be a pretty generic setup you want to choose the country where you're going to be using this tablet this will allow for the localization of this device and then you can press next then we can go ahead and choose the input method then just go ahead and press this arrow to the right now we can go ahead and connect it to the wi-fi in this step so there we go on this step we can go ahead and set up the wi-fi and choose the network then go ahead and press connect then you can go ahead and press next as you can see it's connected in this step you can go ahead and sign in to your google account this way you will get all the information from Google account saved on this device, such as your contacts, your email, your YouTube, everything's going to be back on this device. So you can just go ahead and sign in right now. And this way you're going to get your device back and running just like it was. Then it's going to go ahead and check more info. So you just got to wait. If you have Asus account, you can go ahead and sign in or you can create one but i'm just gonna go ahead and skip it for now there we go so here is your accounts you can synchronize user data in the background automatically remove this check mark here this way you won't automatically synchronize in the background this way it will save some battery then go ahead and press next then in this step you can go ahead and set up time and date you can do the set the time set the date you can set the time zone and then just press next then in this step you can go ahead and remove all these check marks you, if you don't want to back up your phone apps data and settings and wi-fi password to the google servers you can just go ahead and take it off i just take everything off so then the next step you can go ahead and say no thanks then in this step it gives you opportunity to transfer files wirelessly from one device to another if you not transferring it like in this case we just did a factory reset and we're not actually transferring anything from the old device you can just choose skip data transfer and press check mark done there we go so right now this device has been fully reset and it has all the apps pre-installed just like you'll you even get hints like when you first time start this device so basically this whole device is like brand new right now the firmware has been reset if there were any problems with software or if you were running out of room or anything like that if your apps were just freezing there we go so it's working now so you're going to get a few hints here how to operate it but this is just for the first time users as you can see you can do a lot of things so there are quite a few pre-installed apps on this asus k012 tablet and um, yeah so it will still take quite a bit of room but i can see it starts to work a lot faster right now so which is really great let's go ahead and check out how much memory we got right now go to the storage and as you can see i have 4.66 gigabyte available and unfortunately i didn't take a video of how much it was before but i remember it was 1.01 .01 gigabyte so yeah as you can see we have released 
more than three and a half gigabyte of storage available now and sd card has been intact like it's still the same as it was there was nothing changed on the sd card which is good we didn't want to remove anything from the sd card but as you can see i got way more room right now and this device should be working way quicker right now so hopefully that's the case but even if it doesn't work quicker that's pretty much the only way you can do it you can go ahead and turn off some unnecessary processes but this is as fresh as it's gonna get so yeah all right so yeah this is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give this video a like subscribe to the channel for more interesting helpful videos and if you have any comments or questions leave them in the comment section below thank you very much and have a nice day Bye bye